Hey everyone, welcome back to this series on the brutal facts of lostness in the state of Alabama. Alabama is seen by most everyone you talk to to be a part of the Bible Belt, meaning that, hey, everybody's a Christian, right? Um, everybody knows Jesus. Everybody's following Jesus. Everybody goes to church. But we're asking, is that really the case? Or do we see instead some things shifting and do we see a downward trajectory in the state of Alabama? And so we're looking at a couple different pieces of information to try to determine lostness in the state of Alabama on a county by county basis. And so today, this week, we're looking at Covington County. And Covington County, the population there is 37,049. So we're seeing like time and time again, Alabama's a pretty rural place, right? I tell friends and some other cities, the population of some of our counties, and they're like, that's the whole county? I'm like, yep, that's the whole county. So kind of a rural uh, population uh, in Alabama. So per the census data, 37,000 people live in Covington County, somewhere around there. And as we always say, it's hard to determine lostness without having actual conversations with people uh, about, you know, their their standing, their spiritual beliefs. Like, how, how do we... How do we really know? Um, but we can look at a couple of data points to kind of see what the trajectory is at least and see where things may be headed. So uh, in Covington County, there are somewhere around 14,379 people that are unclaimed. And that just means they are not connected to any identified religious groups in the county. That would be evangelical, Catholic, Buddhist. I mean, it doesn't matter. Any religious connection whatsoever so 14,000 people are not associated or connected with any religious body, and that makes up 39% of the overall population of Covington County. Now, the next data point we look at, we always give a little disclaimer uh, because we recognize we're not saying uh, by these data points that, hey, one denomination is right and another one is wrong. We recognize the kingdom of God is much bigger than any one denomination, but when it comes to Alabama, uh, the majority of churches, a lot of churches are Southern Baptist churches, and Southern Baptist uh, churches track usually their attendance and membership and baptisms and a whole lot of other data points, and we have access to that through the annual church profile data, and we can kind of see what's the trajectory in those that family of churches to, to see where things may be headed in the state overall, and especially in Covington County. So, Covington County is a part of the Covington Baptist Association, and in the last five years, there's been a reported 41% decline in baptisms among the churches of the Covington Baptist Association, and there's been a 32% decline in worship attendance. And so we keep seeing a similar trend every week in different counties, other than just a few exceptions all of the data points have been decline, decline. And so we hope these numbers drive us to really consider um, what's it going to take. That's what wig take is there at the bottom of, of this uh, video. Wig take, what's it going to take to see that change? And we hope that these numbers drive us to do two things, to be desperate in prayer for spiritual awakening and renewal, in these places in Alabama, but also training uh, that if you live, especially in Covington County, and you say, yeah, I'm a follower of Jesus, but you don't feel comfortable sharing Jesus, and you, you really like, man, I don't make disciples. I don't know how to do that. Then we would love to train you. We'd love to come do a training in your area and help you know what it looks like to be a disciple that makes disciples. So if you live in Covington County or anywhere else in the state of Alabama, and you say, hey, I want to be trained then let us know. We can get you connected to people close to your area that can help you with a training, or we can come and do a training. Uh, we'll make sure that you, you have some kind of way of being trained as a disciple maker so you can reach your county, reach your city with the good news of Jesus. And so until next time, keep on sharing Jesus and keep making disciples until there's no place left.